So the problem goes like that. Maybe I should read the problem. This might be who has it. I'll just read it. I'll get back to you. Okay. So 0.5 grams of scandium react with oxygen in air. So it's O2 from air to form scandium oxide. 0.767 grams of unknown composition. So that's why I wrote the SEXOY. I don't know what X and Y are. I want to know the percent composition of scandium and oxygen in here. And I want to know the empirical formula. And I'll do an add-on bonus. We'll do the molecular formula as well. I'll give this back to you. I want to write that down. Okay. So it's a percent composition, and it's also an empirical formula. So here's what we'll do. Uh, I, to go on, to get all the percent compositions, I, I'll need all the masses. So I need the mass of oxygen. Anybody who's a brainiac know where I get that number? 16 from the two. That's the molar mass. I want the actual mass. Times two. Uh, that would again be the molar mass. They use the whole mass of your unknown substance in the, in it to yeah. figure out what oxygen is. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I know you need that. That's but. totally fine, yeah. I'm going to take the law of composition of mass. So, this from po 0.5 from 0.767. So, you, uh, you others were like a step ahead of me in getting to the moles or to the molar mass. I don't need that yet. First, I want just the masses, and that's from the law of composition of mass. So, the sum of the reactants equal the sum of the products. Okay, now the next step is to get into the percent composition part of the problem. So, I'll just take it one at a time. I'll start with scandium and go from there. So, uh, percent scandium equals, so this is going to be the mass percent of scandium. It's going to be the mass of scandium on top, what we want on top, divided by the total on the bottom. So... That's going to be 0 0.500 grams on top, divided by the total, which is 0 0.767 grams, both of which were given in the problem. And I'm going to multiply this by 100%. That's going to equal 65.19. Okay, so there's the percent mass of scandium, first part. Second part, I want the percent mass of oxygen. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, but just for oxygen. I'm going to get a different pen that maybe be a little darker. Oh, this is nice. Oxygen equals, now I need this 0.267, which I subtracted from law of conservation of mass. 0 0.267 grams divided by the total, 0 0.767 grams times 100% times 100 just gets me in percent, and that is 34, uh, 81. And hopefully these two add up to 100. <laughs> that is key, or you screwed up somewhere. So that's the first part of the question, what's the percent mass for each? Remember, the, the key aspect if you're doing percent composition is mass. Everything needs to be in mass here. The next part is going to be the empirical formula. And for the empirical formula, we need everything to be in uh, moles. So I'm going to change everything into moles now. Can I erase this? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So for moles, I'm just going to take the mass and do a conversion. Uh, zero, we'll start with scandium, 0 0.500 grams. That's a scandium, SC. We're going to convert this to moles. This is just for an, an atom of it. Uh, is 44.96 grams per mole. Just from the periodic table, nothing special. And that's going to equal 0 0.0111 moles of scandium. Okay, so there we go, just moles. I'm going to do the exact same thing for oxygen, again, just for the atom. So for oxygen, it's 0 0.267 grams of oxygen 
and the molar mass is 16.00 grams per mole. And that'll equal 0.0167 moles of oxygen. Okay, so now I have moles of oxygen, moles of scandium. I essentially have just found, what is it? This one right here is x, and this number down here is y, from my original part. I just found x and y, but according to definite proportions, I need them as whole numbers. So I need to keep on going. But I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to divide by the smallest. So I'll put them in, and then I'll divide by the smallest. So it's SC 0.0111, O. 0.0167. I then divide by the smallest. That looks like the first number. So that's 0 0.0111 divide through. When I do that, you'll get the following. SC1 O 1.5. Does that look like a good answer? It's very close. What should I do? Need it in whole numbers. Yeah, I need in whole numbers. I should multiply by 2. That'll happen occasionally. You'll get a 0.5. That's totally fine. Just multiply by 2. So you'll get scandium 2O3. And that's your final empirical formula answer. Which makes a lot of sense because scandium is often plus 3. It's plus 3 here. Oxygen is minus 2. So that makes a lot of sense. Scandium acts a lot like aluminum. So that's my final answer there. I'll add a little piece uh, for the molar mass. So I'm going to erase some of this top stuff. Is that okay? okay? I'll leave this stuff on the bottom for a moment. Why is it a C2? How did I get this? Oh, I multiplied this by 2 and this by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. 1.5 times 2 is 3. Why? Why did I choose two? Yeah. yeah, I need a whole number. Uh -huh. And to get rid of 1.5, 0. 0.5 is just one half. Uh -huh. To get rid of that, I have to multiply by two. Uh -huh. If it was 1.3, I'd multiply by three, uh -huh. and so on and so forth. Is that okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, and these need to be whole numbers. If you left it like this, you'll get points deducted. Okay. Uh, because we even find chemically we don't find any molecules that do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, what was he going to do? A uh, molar mass. So let's say you're given. So the following is given. Given. Uh, they say the molar mass of the scandium oxide is 2. And I'm just totally making this up. This will make absolutely no chemical sense. Okay. 275.8. 4 grams per mole. So let's say that's your given information in the problem, and they say, what's the molecular formula now? Okay? What you do is you take this compound down here, and you find its molar mass. So the molar mass of what I found, or maybe I should say the molar mass of the empirical, is going to be, uh, and I found this earlier, it's Looks like it's 137.92. So this is found. That's given. It's found from the SC203. What you do is take the molar mass of the given number divided by the empirical number. Or it's the molar mass of the molecular formula divided by that of the empirical. So I'll do that. It's uh, 237. Oh, not 237. 275. 275.84 divided by 137.92. That's going to be approximately 2 if you do that calculation. You're looking for a whole number ish. If you do not get a whole number here, you definitely screwed up somewhere. Okay, so this better be a whole number. Then all you do is go multiply through the subscripts by this number. So your, what's called your molecular formula is going to be SC4O6. Is that okay? Any questions on that?